There are a number of milestones in a young traveller girl's life en route to her wedding day. Her first Holy Communion is the most extravagant of them all. Isn't that, that's every little girl's dream, know, isn't it? It is. I'd say with the travellers, it's, it's fair to say this is like a dress rehearsal for their wedding. They actually, they love the idea of the, the dressing up the princess dress and, and this is just like a, a little taster of what they're going to have. Dressmaker Thelma has just finished a communion gown inspired by the Eddie Murphy film, Coming to America. It's really common with the traveller girls to bring photographs or actually pass us films of Disney characters um, or any sort of film where there's an elaborate wedding dress or an elaborate dress in it. Okay. Fabulous, yeah, that's brilliant. Okay. Isn't it? After waiting for months, the family are about to see the communion dress for the first time. Close your eyes, come on. How little do you dance? You don't fall. Ready? Go. Go on, you can see now. What do you think? Do you love it? Do you love it, yeah? Isn't it gorgeous? Are you going to cry, babe? Oh. Yeah. Mum Marie, seven-year-old Margarita and her brother John Boy have made a 300-mile round trip from their site in Gloucester. Is that what you thought it'd be? I thought it's nicer than I thought. It's nicer than you thought. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Hey? I think when your daddy sees this, he'd start crying. What do you think? Hey, his little princess. You want to try it on? I want to see the dress. I want to see. I want to see the dress on my sister. They're not letting you in yet. No. It's because like, she's getting changed. Hurry up! I I want to go and see the dress. Um, dun, dun. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. You're gonna cry. Everyone's gonna cry. <laughs> she's thrilled, isn't she? Is it what you were there uh, thinking? Yeah. What you do, you see that little bit there, it's going to be too tight. You know, just get some, you know, plasters, you know, like what you put on, you like blister plasters, yeah. and just stick them along there. So it won't cut. Yeah, so, so it doesn't rub more than anything, because she's not used to having anything tight, is she? John Boy will be taking his communion on the same day, in an outfit inspired by the same film. He's going as the African prince. It's a nice dress. It's a lovely dress. Well, it's not nicer than my suit. Princess! John, why you never call me a princess? Why you call me one now? Oh. you like a princess. But you always call me a rat. Not <laughs> Does it look a princess? <laughs> I think this whole outfit, what she's going to wear, is going to be really, really uncomfortable. But I've never once heard a travelling child complain of pain, discomfort or anything. As long as it looks good, they're happy. In Stroud, it's a special day for seven-year-old Margarita. 500 metres of pink netting are about to transform her into a princess for the day. That's the umbrella, that's the corset, that's the crown, that's the, the slip, that's the dress. Not to be outdone, brother John Boy has a suit fit for a prince. That's the trouser, and um, the coat has... Have this. Um, when you button the coat up, you button that in there. Yeah, it's going to be really special. It's the morning of their first Holy Communion. Decorated with over 5,000 crystals, Margarita's dress weighs twice her own body weight.
As is tradition in the traveling community, the children make their own way to church, complete with a bottle of fake champagne. Margarita's extravagant dress will make sure she stands out from the crowd. The little girl and Marie were explaining to me that this is a, it's like a school communion, so it's all the children that will be in her class will be making the communion together. But uh, Marie's little girl is the only traveller who will be making her communion at that time. Um, so I think you'll see a stark difference between the clothes what the other kids wear and what this little girl wears. I must say it was quite a surprise. <laughs> but we've had a traveller's wedding here about a year ago or so, and the bride had a great big dress then. So I'm getting used to it, and it doesn't faze me at all. When are you next going to wear a dress like this? When it's her wedding. 